Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at a promo for a feminist comedy special. So this is a little video they made to really, you know, sell you on this whole show. To make sure that you're really greased up and ready to take this amazing comedy. So let's see what they did. Enjoy. I think you'll be surprised by my special because you know, you might be thinking, oh, she's a feminist. Um, she's probably really funny. Oh yeah, that's always the first thing I think when I hear that you're a feminist, both unironically and ironically, but not in the way you were hoping. You know, she's probably the life of the party. Mm-hmm, this is, uh, <laughs> th th this, this is your humor? Uh, <laughs> okay. And there's actually some serious stuff in my special. Yes, of course there's gonna be serious stuff in your feminist special. That's why it's gonna be boring. I also, uh, I read the unredacted Mueller report. Well, that sounds like fun. Next, do the phone book. Really quickly, like so fast. It goes by like this, but you get a lot of the information. Let me guess, he's guilty. That's the joke, right? So that's really important. <laughs> no, it's not. And, um, Get to the fucking point. Yeah, I give out nuclear codes. Ooh, the cringe. You know when you bite into a lemon? Yeah, that's what I feel right now. Well, like my grandma used to say, if at first you don't succeed, try a larger thermonuclear reaction. So just read it. I mean, watch it. Are you sure you're not really blonde? Oh, I was it a real weakness for dumb blondes? <laughs> also read it. Read a transcript. You know what? That's probably the way most SJWs consume comedy. No wonder they don't get the jokes. You'll, there's some Easter eggs in it, so. Oh yeah, I'll be waiting for those. The perfect place to dump a body. Hi, I'm Margo with The Rep, and we're here with Alice Wetterland for her new stand-up special on Amazon called My Mama is a Human and So Am I, out August 23rd. My Mama is a Human and So Am I. Yeah, that doesn't sound like cringy feminist propaganda at all. Also, can we take a minute and appreciate the aesthetics of this little studio they have? And look at this chick on the right. Look, I get that Stranger Things is a thing, but the 80s really sucked ass in terms of fashion and interior design. Yes, good job, Mark. Nailed it. <laughs> you know, I really need to make a version of my avatar when I cringe, don't you think? How did you get your start in comedy? Ooh, ooh, let me guess. A guy in a bar told you, and he didn't have any ulterior motives or anything. He was just a nice guy, and I bet he shared your vision of feminist totalitarianism too. I started doing improv and then quickly met somebody in improv cl classes that did stand up. <laughs> What, you had to go to comedy school? Look, if you're not a funny person, then maybe just go work at a bank. And I was like, what do you, so what do you do? You like, like open mics? Like, as a joke, I was like, you just do open mics? Like, I thought there was some other system. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you think you can reduce comedy to a system or a formula or a program that you can execute, you've already lost. And he was like, no, no, yeah, we do open mics. And I was like, well, I probably won't have to do that for very long because... Like, I'm really funny. Sure you are. Um, and I'm like super pretty. She looks like a hooker. Look at her. Look at her. Could you love someone who looked like that? What are you talking about? Of course not. Five, ten minutes tops, maybe. So, uh, and I'm cool. Boring. And I still do open mics. Like, that was ten years ago. Wow you've come so far. I was doing open mics for so long and I got to love it. Well, like they say, don't quit your day job. I like to go to open, I like to watch open mics. It's like, really? <laughs> really? Why would you do that? There are offensive words in there. I love watching open mics. I love watching the people get into comedy. You mean unlike you've done? The thing where the people walk on stage and they think they've got their new joke and they're like so excited and then it just like bombs so hard. So you're saying you're a sadist? I can relate to that. <laughs> and they're like, watching somebody be like... And I thought my jokes were bad. Is there like a limit to how much cringe the human body can take? You know, is great. It's great. That's great. It's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. And then I'm gonna follow it up with, what's your advice 
to women comedians getting started today. Be funny. Jesus Christ, how hard can it be? Any other advice is superfluous. My advice for women, young women getting into comedy, I mean, my advice for women is the same as my advice to men. Wait a minute, let me see that again. Hey moron! Fucking moron! Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking picking your nose right now? In the middle of the fucking interview. It's just do comedy and don't... You know, I, I, there's a lot of different approaches. You think? It's Greek for duh. But, in my opinion, the best approach to becoming a good stand-up, if you want to do if you want to be good, if you want to be famous, that's a different story. <laughs> like, there's two, you know, roads. If you want to be good at stand-up. Wow, I can't believe the question about how to become a comedian is the one that totally stumps her. Actually, I take that back. It makes total sense. Just lay low as long as possible. Lay low? That's your advice? Actually, maybe you in particular should take that advice. Don't, um... Don't be too ambitious about trying to get exposure. Oh yeah, exposure is really bad for people who want to be celebrities. You go girl, we're getting some quality advice out of you now. I started when I was 28. Okay, is that early or is it late? Or you're not gonna give us any context, are you? You know, so there was a lot of fire under my butt to become noticed. Yeah, but no one has ever had that problem before. And become you know, successful in whatever way so I could start paying bills and everything, but... And now we're talking about bills. Have you forgotten that you're trying to sell a comedy special here? What's next? Income tax returns? Who put sand in her vagina? If I could do anything, it would, it would be to have more time under... Ugmos will do you right. Like, not being seen by anybody. Are you sure you're not a high school guidance counselor? To oh. kind of find your voice. Find your voice? <laughs> <laughs> the most cliche feminist thing to say ever. You know, because the more your voice is solidified, the more you're bulletproof. I think you might need to get some Kevlar. When you actually have that chance to be out there and, and show the world, you know, who you are as a stand-up. Yeah, I think you've shown us exactly who you are, you report-reading, nose-picking, incompetent bore. Boring. Takes a long time to do that. Takes a really long time. Yeah, and it felt like it too. Took me a long time. Shut up, you already said that. Wow, I wasn't yeah. expecting you to say that. That was like yeah. a really yeah. like, a fresh Just, take. Oh yeah, smells fresh like the morgue. I mean, honestly, if I could go back to any time in my life, it'd be like coming up doing stand-up and being anonymous. Oh, believe me, we wish you'd go back there too. It was like so much fun. What, you're finished? Well, allow me to retort. Yeah, cool story. So let me have a venti black with two shots of espresso. So with that said, I guess we're coming to the end of the video. So all that remains to be said is don't forget to like and subscribe and let's be pals on Twitter. Thanks for watching and see you next time.